Wow, this place looks familiar. It's like I'm in the office TV show. You know, working here is like a comedy show. We just need someone to shout "cut" when things get awkward. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the podcast. I'm Georgiana, your English teacher, and my mission is to help you speak English fluently. And if you want to help me, share the podcast. That would mean a lot. Thanks. Okay, we'll start with a brief conversation that includes the top ten business expressions. And to make learning more fun, I've taken inspiration from the Office TV show, and you'll learn grammar in context with a point of view story. Before you start listening, make sure to get the transcript. Visit speakenglishpodcast.com. It's free. Let's get started. Jack walked into the office and said, "Whoa, this place looks familiar. It's like I'm in the office TV show." Yeah, Jack. We get that a lot. We like to think outside the box here. You're right, Pam. We're always brainstorming new ideas to stay ahead of the competition. That's great to hear. I'm ready to get the ball rolling and take it to the next level. Good to hear. But make sure. To touch base with your boss consistently, it's important to stay in the loop and keep him updated on your progress. Definitely, I want to make sure we're all on the same page, following best practices for team collaboration. And we need people like you to keep an eye on the details. Thanks for the advice. At the end of the day, it's all about producing high-quality work and making a difference. Absolutely, this may feel like a TV set, but it's a real community of people. Welcome aboard. Okay, that's the end of this short conversation. Make sure to visit my website and download the transcript. This way. You can spot the expressions that I used in the conversation. Before we continue, let's listen to the used expressions. Thinking outside the box. In the loop. Get the ball rolling. At the end of the day. Brainstorm. Touch base. Get on the same page. Keep an eye on. Take it to the next level. Best practice. Let's listen to the point of view story about Jack and his new job position at Dunder Mifflin. I will tell the same story twice, so make sure to focus on the changes. You can find these techniques fully implemented. In my premium courses, at speakenglishpodcast dot com slash courses. Okay, let's start. Jack's first day at the office was full of excitement and anticipation, as he started his dream job at Dunder Mifflin, a prestigious paper company. Little did he know that his day. Would become an unexpected adventure. As Jack entered, he spotted a man who looked a lot like Jim Halpert, and a woman who resembled Pam Beasley. He felt like he had been to this place before, and mentioned that it reminded him of being on the set of the TV show The Office. It was weird. 
but Jack kept going to his desk. Jim, a co-worker, warned him of the office's prankish nature and advised him not to get too comfortable. The boss, Michael Scott, warmly welcomed Jack and emphasized the team's goal of increasing sales. As the day progressed, Jack felt like he was on a TV show and decided to participate in the office pranks. He and Jim teamed up to play a crazy prank involving Dwight Stapler and a jello mold. Dwight discovered the prank and was angry. He confronted Jack and warned him he shouldn't mess with the assistant regional manager. Despite the situation, Jack found it unreal and couldn't stop laughing. At the end of the day, Jack hung out with his co-workers in the break room, sharing stories and laughing about the day's events. Even though the office was like a bizarre sitcom, Jack felt a strong bond with his colleagues and thought that maybe working at the office wouldn't be so bad after all. Let's listen to the same story in the present tense from Jack's point of view. My first day at the office is filled with excitement and anticipation as I start my dream job at Dunder Mufflin, a prestigious paper company. Little do I know that this day is about to become an unexpected adventure. As I enter, I spot a man who looks a lot like Jim Halpert and a woman who resembles Pam Beasley. It feels like I've been to this place before, and I mentioned that it reminds me of being on the set of the TV show The Office. It's weird, but I keep walking towards my desk. Jim, my co-worker, he warns me about The Office's notorious pranks and tells me not to get too comfortable. The boss, Michael Scott, warmly welcomes me and emphasizes the team's focus on increasing sales. As the day progresses, I feel like I'm living in a TV show and decide to join in on the office pranks. Jim and I team up to play a wild prank involving Dwight Stapler and a jello mold. Dwight discovers the prank and becomes furious. He confronts me, warning that I shouldn't mess with the assistant regional manager. Despite the situation, I find it unreal and can't stop laughing. At the end of the day, I hang out with my co-workers in the break room, sharing stories and laughing about the day's events. Even though The Office resembles a bizarre sitcom, I feel a strong bond with my colleagues and think that maybe working at The Office wouldn't be so bad after all. Okay, that's the end of this short exercise. Notice that the changes between grammar points are subtle but important. It's better to see the changes in the proper context. And with a story, it is much easier to remember all this. Visit speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses to get my premium courses. They are designed for learning by listening. Okay, we have reached the end of this episode. See you soon. Bye-bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com.